this is the C program we are going to implement. Let's see what are the major sections of this program. There are two procedures or two sub two functions implemented: move right, move left. When we compare this program with our flowchart, you can see shift port be left by one, and there are two procedures: shift port be right by one, shift port be left by one, and shift port be right by one. These two procedures are implemented in C programming language here: move left and move right. Now, then the main program. In the first line of main program, T R I S B equal to zero. This instruction is set to configure port B as output because we are using all the pins of port B add as output to get an voltage to the outside. Not we are we are not going to implement the project to input any voltage to the microcontroller. After set the all the pins of port B as output, then Turn on all the LEDs or light up all the LEDs. Uh, this is additional line because to, before we are starting the night trader pattern, I wrote this code to turn on all the LEDs for one second to get the one second of delay. This is the this is the C programming syntax. Delay MS MS mean milliseconds, thousand millisecond of delay. That mean one second. After delay, set port B equals one mean light of the first led that mean this is the starting point of night rider design S light up the first led then it again call a 500 millisecond of delay then program coming to a while loop the while loop the condition of this while loop is one it is infinite loop then there are two if conditions when we see our flowchart you can see there are two decision points or two conditions those conditions are implemented here using if if syntax these two if syntax check here check 7 bit of port b to 1 and check 0 bit of port b for 1 this task is this task is doing by these two if conditions and you can see if port b if 0 is set to 1 if the rightmost LED is turned on then move left if the leftmost LED is turned on then move right move left here move left mean it is calling the procedure call the function move left and move right here it is calling the procedure move right then this while loop is infinitely happening then the final result is the outcome of this function is we can see a night rider design pattern in our circuit I'm not going to use deeply and very detail these functions these keywords you can uh, you can learn these things when you find a manual or you can refer a book or something related to microcontroller programming okay now let's start implementing the project the next step what I'm going to do is using micro C write our code and compile it using micro C then insert or program the microcontroller using the compiled version of our project okay now let's move to implement our code okay now I am starting micro C click start and micro C Now I'm going to create a new project, project, new project, and the project name is LED. Design and path is here. I'm going to save it on desktop. I have already created the folder called LED Night Rider. Okay, and device is PIC 16F84A, and the clock clock means the the clock of the crystal oscillator when I show you the schematic of our circuit diagram I show you that we are going to use 4 megahertz crystal so I set it to 4 and here there are some configurations you can do and I here 
CP mean code protection, code protection off, and power up timer off, and this watchdog timer is off, and crystal oscillator we are going to use crystal oscillator it indicates here xt oscillator and okay these settings are okay now click the okay button now we can start write coding here i have already write our code and i can select all this and copy and i'm going to paste it here this is our c program now our program is written and we can compile this program here's a small icon you can see build project click this icon now our project is successfully built and compiled now let's see what are the content of this folder there are several files but this file is our code or source code LED design and this is the compiled version of our program this is the very important file leddesign.hex this is the machine language instructions in this file we are going to use this file to program our microcontroller let's let's see how to program our microcontroller and next part of this video is i'm going to show you how to connect a microcontroller to the computer through jdm programmer and how to insert this compiled version of our program to the microcontroller ok now we are going to connect our microchip to the computer we use JDM programmer we show how to create a JDM program in our first video and we show you the schematic and this is the very simple JDM program we have created it connect to the computer through the serial port and you can see this is the PIC 16 f 84 a microcontroller that we are going to use in our project uh, before we connect the programmer to the computer we connect this microcontroller to the programmer and then connect programmer to the computer uh, this is the PIC 16 f 84 a microcontroller you have to be careful when you connect this microcontroller to the JDM programmer because uh, you should connect it to the correct side otherwise it will uh, you will damage the microcontroller in the microcontroller there is a you can see there is a small dotted dotted mark here it indicate the first pin of your of the microcontroller and you can here to the IC base you can place it in the correct position and you can press the microcontroller then okay here we go now it is properly connected to the programmer uh, if you are using a, a very good programmer the programmers that created from the you buy from the market uh, you, you may use a very easy IC base, but here I am using very primary IC base. Uh, anyway, now uh, my microcontroller is compute, connect, connected to the programmer. Now our next step is connect this JDM programmer to the computer. Now we are going, going to connect our JDM programmer to the computer. Here, in my laptop computer, in the back side. You can easily identify the serial connector. It is a male connector with uh, it has nine pins. And in our JDM programmer, you can see the shortcut here. It is also matched with the serial port. And it is very simple. You can just press the connector to the port right now our programmer is connected to the computer our next step is program our microcontroller using IC Pro software now we are going to program our microcontroller here there is a button called erase all in IC Pro click this button to erase if your microcontroller already has an existing program now you can see device is erased now I'm going to open and import our compiled version of our nitride design nitride folder import LED night dot hex this is the compiled version of our project this is the machine instruction now open now the compiled version of our project is imported now set the oscillator to XT and don't turn on any fuses here let the let them 
in as it is and the program all button click to program your microcontroller you can see now our microcontroller is programming the progress bar show the show you that the progress of our process and we have wait a moment to until okay now device is successfully verified that mean the microcontroller is successfully programmed you can use this read all button if you want to read your program again check whether it is correctly programmed now chip is programmed it is okay okay now our microcontroller is programmed with the compiled version of our night rider design pattern now i'm going to connect this microcontroller to the circuit base and let's check whether it is working yeah please be careful when you connect the microcontroller to the base uh, to connect it to the correct position otherwise we will damage your microcontroller here we go okay now it is connected now i'm going to supply the voltage okay you can see it is working LEDs are moving to the right and to the left side continuously as we program it. Uh, this is the end of our project and hope you learn something new and something creative. This is a very basic project but uh, you can improve your knowledge by using the things that you have learned from this project. And okay, now in the next part I'm going to show you some of the projects that we have created using microcontrollers. Okay. Here you can see a digital clock created using the PIC16 of 84 a microcontroller. And it has two buttons here to set the time. And this is one example of how to apply the microcontroller programming to the real world projects. Uh, you can see here, you can use microcontroller programming to do these kind of projects. This is one example. Here yeah, you can see a very interesting project created using the PIC16 F84 microcontroller. Uh, this is a matrix display used here to display the text. Uh, you can see the text here it is moving. Welcome to SLWIT. You can change the text by changing the source code of this program. This is also one example of applications of microcontroller programming. Okay.